Sanju. Is the title of what we are reacting to right now. I know, but the way you said it, it sounded like you were insulting me. Like, hey, Sanju. Bafangu. Ooh, if you know Italian, I just cussed. <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin Miles. This is Richard Siegel. I am. That's my legal name, but I go by Rick. When I was little, I was Ricky. You know, back in 19. Shut up. <laughs> Please follow us on Instagram, Instagram. and Twitter. And join the notification squad. The bell. The bell. Ooh, yeah. Ring the bell. <laughs> Hello, our Indian family. We love you. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, today, our stupid family, we will be reacting to Sanju. A, You're welcome. Uh, trailer that you want to see. I, I think. Well, some of you at least. I'm sure there will be people like, who's recommending you this crap? Uh, of course. <laughs> but this is one of those on the list that I, I remember seeing like, a lot. copied and pasted. And Once again, lot. we have hundreds of you. Yes. Asking for trailers. Every single day. So thank so you for your patience. patience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Let you. us see what this is about. Let us see. We are so ready for this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is my very happy day. Because my autobiography, my soul, is coming in front of you. मैं बेवड़ा हूँ <laughs> दोस्ती करेगा तो प्रेस वाले पीछे पड़ेंगे ही ना कोर्ट ने बोला कि मुझे सब पता था पूरा कंट्री टेररिस्ट बोलेगा वो तो अभी बोल रहे हम नोट अ टेररिस्ट आपका बेटा बेल पे है फिर भी अंडरवर्ल्ड के साथ बातें करता है पिछली बारह फिल्में फ्लॉप है इन शॉर्ट फिनिश मेरा बेटा कोई गुजरा हुआ वक्त नहीं है जो लौट कर वापस नहीं आ सकता टाइगर है तू टाइगर रोश क्या है रोश <laughs> Oops. Wow, that was a that was a journey. I'm interested. Wow, yeah, that because it started off and the whole thing was kind of quirky. Very quirky. Um, Very weird. Yeah. Off center. And then obviously it deals with addiction? Apparently it deals with a lot of stuff from this um, this guy's vantage point. Um, the, just, who then gets like mistakenly characterized as being a terrorist? Ter yeah, so I don't 
I don't know. There's a lot of different things. A lot play. of different stories. It seemed like there was a drug story. There was an addiction story. There was a womanizing story. Sanju is the biopic of the controversial life of actor Sanjay Dutt. Okay, his film career, jail sentence, and personal life. Holy cow! This is somebody's so life. So this is somebody's life. So this is looks like very very different. But it looks like it's as absurd and over the top as, say, like a Wolf of Wall Street, where it's an actual person's story and you're not going to believe that this person did all the things that they did. Yeah. But obviously I'm not comparing it to that because Wolf of Wall Street was its own yeah. thing. Yeah, and it's the director of PK and Three Idiots. Oh, is that what you were pointing out? Yeah, that's what I was pointing Yeah, because I was looking at the subtitles with them when that happened and I know I missed whatever you were pointing out, yeah. so it's the same director. Yeah, it's the same director. Um, who we love. This is, oh, Vicky's in this. Oh, yeah. From, wow. From Uri. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even recognize didn't it. Didn't even recognize it because he went through, I do on his IMDb page, but in the film, he like shows up and there's his name. I'm like, oh, there's a guy named Vicky. Yeah. It's freaking, <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I didn't. Amazing transformation. Didn't recognize it. It looks really interesting. How many years ago? It's it not that long ago. It came out in 2018. So there's a year difference between this and Uri. <clears throat> um, the, I was incredibly grossed out <laughs> by but, the toilet scene. Of course you'd be grossed out by the toilet scene, but I don't... What was it? It was just yellow stuff. I don't know that what that was. That was shit and piss. I don't think so. Yeah, he said the toilet's overflowing. Yeah, but I think what was, else would it be? There could have been other stuff in there. Maybe he was trying to be killed by the gangsters and they it were sending up some other things in there. It was definitely shit and piss. Oh, could be. It was absolutely disgusting. Well, whoever's pee that was, they need to hydrate. Ugh. Because that was too yellow. Ugh. I can't stand bodily functions. It's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you handle it when you have to do it yourself? I don't. That's why he doesn't cry, folks. <laughs> I mean, he's all I'm, he's all clogged I'm up. I'm incredibly backed up. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the main guy is from that. Uh, that you recognize? Yeah. And I also want to know, like we say with everything that we, we, we watch, do you guys want us to, obviously you want us to watch it, but is this one that we watch and review? Is it that good? Remember... We've had one after the other after the other that have just been fantastic. So don't yeah. don't blow it. This now. whole thing was kind of it was kind of just weird because it went from corky 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 corky, and then it went into very serious drug addiction. Right. I'm a terrorist. Right. I'm a terrorist. I'm involved with the mob. I'm a movie star. I'm a womanizer. I. It's all over the place. Again, I think it's going to be as extreme where you just can't believe this guy is living a life that he's living. Like yeah. in Wolf of Wall Street. Well, I'm very intrigued. Yep. So please let us know. Let us know what you think. It looks awesome. Yep. Thanks. Bye. See ya! <laughs>